Hey everybody, what's going on? This is MasterCloud and I am going to make a quick video here of how to download and install and just some basic use of Hamachi uh, or LogMeIn's Hamachi. Uh, so in order to install Hamachi you need to go to this site. Uh, it's just vpn.net and that will bring you here obviously. Uh, once you get here you can go ahead and click download it'll ask you if you want to run or save it or cancel uh, you can save it to your desktop and run from there I'm just gonna run it off the site um, I trust this site I've downloaded this like a dozen times already so not really that worried it'll ask you to select your language uh, it'll just give you some basic information here make sure you carefully read through and uh, you know take notes on the uh, terms and conditions of use here after you've carefully done that go ahead and agree It'll ask you where you want to install it. Just uh, I'm just going to install it uh, at the recommended spot. Then it will begin to load. You can close that screen. Uh, it's going to begin to load here. It's going to ask you again. Do you want to allow the following program to install? So just go ahead and say just go ahead and say yes. And uh, just to show you guys as an example, I have a game here up. It's uh, the Lord of the Rings: The Rise of the Witch King. I'll just pull that up onto the screen. And as you can see right now, um, there isn't actually there isn't online play anymore. So the only way you can play this with other people is through network. Um, but as you can see, there's no other games they would show up right here. So there's no other games on the network right now because I'm just sitting at my house and there's no other people here who have this game. So if I want to play online with my friends, drag that away. I need to go ahead and use a, a service like Hamachi. So once I install this, I should be able to log on to someone else's Hamachi server. Go ahead and click Finish and uh, play that game with them. All right, so once you finish that, uh, you can go ahead and launch Hamachi, and it will bring up this. If I can make this bigger, there we go. It'll bring up this. Now, if you when you click the Power On button, guys, if you get a problem that says uh, the Hamachi server uh, has denied your login request. I'm going to go ahead and put a link uh, somewhere in the upper right, maybe upper left, who really knows. Uh, it'll be on the screen though. And uh, it, uh, you go ahead and click on that link and that should take you to another video that I'll make that it will show you, actually I've already made that video, but that video will go ahead and show you how to fix that problem. Uh, for now, if when I click this, it is going to work. It's going to ask uh, it's going to want me to register my client. You can go ahead and type in your client name. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just whatever you want other people to see your computer as. Um, I'm just going to leave mine as MasterCloud PC. That's perfectly fine. You can change it later. Uh, just go ahead and create. It's going to do some resolving. It's going to do some probing. Once it's finished with all of that, it's going to go ahead and... Uh, sync you up and you are going to get to this screen now from here you can either create a network or join an existing network quite obviously um, if someone else has already created like you're gonna play with some friends play a game with some friends or you're connecting for whatever other reason you want you need to connect to someone else's um, network you can go ahead and join an existing network or if you want to create your own and have people connect to yours uh, you can do that I already have a network up so I'm gonna click on join an existing network from here you want to type in your network ID uh, where you want to go to. So the one I made for this video is called uh, Witch King 2013. And then go ahead and type in the password which whoever created when you create uh, a network it will give you the option of what you of what you want your network ID to be and what you want your password to be. So then you, you can send that information to whoever you want to join your network. So then, once you finish that, go ahead and click join. And as you can see, uh, I am now connected to uh, this server, which King 2013. Here's my other computer that has uh, that is hosting the server. As you can see, they're already joined in the game. And now, when I bring back this up here, I'm going to have to refresh, go back out, come back in to network, and now I can see my other computer, and I can join my friend's game. And this is through an online connection. Um, but it's like a local connection online, which is an oxymoron, I know. All right, so now that that is working, um, some games, however, will give you a problem here, and may and you may not be able to find other people on, on the network yet. 
if that problem happens to you where it's not initially showing up, what you want to do is go into uh, you want to go into network. Some games and and um, systems or whatever, for whatever reason, only search for um, other computers on the main uh, connection. So from here, you want to go ahead and click on Network and Sharing Center. And then once you get to the Network and Sharing Center, on the left-hand side, you're going to see Change Adapter Settings. You want to click on that, and that's going to take you and show you all of your connections. Uh, right now, I'm connected wirelessly, so that's on here. I do not have any of the net cable plugged in, so you can see there's an X right there, and there's the Hamachi Network. Uh, from here, what you want to do is click on, on your keyboard, click the Alt button. That's going to bring up this little bar right here of all these different options. You want to click on Advanced and go to Advanced Settings. Now from here it's going to show you all your settings and you want the Adapters and Bindings tab and here again it's going to show you all your different connections. Now some games or systems will only look at the top one. They'll only search for for um, for you know peers on the main or on the top connection. So what you want to do is click on Hamachi, and you can go ahead and move Hamachi all the way to the top, and then go ahead and click OK. And now um, those systems should be able to search for your um, search for your peers immediately, uh, and that should work a lot better. Also, guys, if you do not want the Hologme and Hamachi service starting up when you start your computer, um, it's kind of an annoying thing to have going all the time. Because you, because you only really want to use it when you want to connect to your peer to to other people, and if you don't, then you don't really want it running because it it well you just don't want a ton of stuff running because it slows down your computer. So you can go into um, either your search bar down here, um, you can launch your task manager, um, however you really want to do it. It doesn't really matter, uh, but you can uh, go ms config. Just type in ms config. It also bring it up here. Um, if you, this is really the easiest way, just type it in there, click enter, and it's going to bring up your system configuration. From here, scroll over to startup, and you're going to see it in here, and there it is right there, Hamachi client. And this is telling it right now to start up when I start my computer. Well, I don't want that, so just uncheck that box, click apply, and now when you restart your computer, this will not start with it. You'll just have to go into, you know, your start menu and start it this way. So there it is. There's the quick tutorial. Hope you guys uh, hope you guys find this useful. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.